Okay, so here's what we got started so far. We got the motherboard in, the CPU in, and the CPU cooler, which is this massive piece on top, which we weren't sure was going to fit, and turned out to fit quite nicely. So we have a really good motherboard in there. Lots of memory slots. We had to take the fan off so that we could fit everything in. That'll go back on a little bit. Okay, next start starts today. Okay, getting the power supply put in. Nada and Darshit are working together to get that in. This is like stuck in. Wait, I think it's in. You tried to lift it up, no. It's in. Got a Corsair power supply for this one. Let me put the other one in. Because, like, look, it's held up. It's kind of upside down. Oh, yeah. Well, those line up, but the, these don't line up, do they? Like that? Is it going back? No, bring it higher. Bring it higher. Since the power supply doesn't going. sit right on the bottom, it's a little difficult to get it to line up. A little bit more. Yeah, it's angled again. Go higher from that side. It's like, you know, it's like a... All right, we finally got the power connected in this. We ended up having to pull out the power supply and redo it. And this tiny little corner was the real booger during to get everything in. We've got a 8-pin and a 4-pin CPU connector for the ATX in there, and also the fan, which we finally reattached to the system, which we had originally had to take off so that we could get the motherboard in in the first place. So now everything is in place as far as the CPU, the power supply, which also has the 24-pin piece over in the corner here, and everything is poking through to the other side where the power supply is now hiding underneath there. All right, getting the RAM in now, just decided on which two slots we needed. And we're trying to decide on the orientation for it. If it's not fitting over the slot, remember that that centerpiece is sometimes not really centered. So flip it over and see if it works. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard to fit in. Maybe. All right, there we go. Okay, why don't you let somebody else do the other yeah. one? Yeah, just go this way. This, this way? Case is that way, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so I know I was going to get the other one in. Okay, push it down until the ends snap. Hmm. Those are not oh. centered. Okay. All right, because as we push, those two end clips should automatically close on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like it's in good. All right, next step will be our mother or our um, video. Okay, looking at putting in the video card at this point. It is actually taking up three slots from the back. The thing is quite large. Come to me. And it's a nice yes, fan. It's a PCIe. Well, it's missing this now. And we're trying to... Wait. You've yeah, got this, it backwards. This part, yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, no, no. You've got yeah, the whole thing backwards. Oh, this way. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we got it. Okay, yeah, the bracket needs to line up with the back bracket. Okay. Let me just sneak around here. There we go. That's a nice good fit. Excellent. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just use the screws to tighten it down. All right.
right, we finally got both fans connected now. So that one was our latest addition. Okay, so we have the one fan going out and one fan coming in. And besides having the cooler fan, those are all connected. And of course at the bottom then will be the power supply, which will then go through the bottom. Okay, the video card also has a beautiful fan built into it as well, which is going to go through that grid through the bottom, so that'll get lots of space and lots of air. Well, we ended up having to pull out the video card again because all of our pins are right here next to where it plugs in. So we couldn't get at them without pulling it out. So we're pulling that out so that we can start putting things together with the pins. All right, today we actually took out some of the excess power cables mm -hmm. that we didn't need so that all we have left is a SATA, which should be able to reach both the hard drive, which we installed in the bottom bracket, and the SSD, which will go on the side here in mounts. So we're in the process of putting the SSD into its bracket. And then most of this should be done. And we'll see what happens if it powers on in a few minutes. Okay, as usual, the best laid plans did not work out so well. So we're pulling the hard drive back out again because the power cable was a little bit too close to the bottom of the carrier and we weren't able to get it plugged in correctly. So we're gonna pull it out and move it up to the top part of the bracket and then put it back in again.